Okay, you guys, the things you need out right now is a yardstick, a pencil, um, an eraser. So make sure your pencil is an eraser. Uh, you will be drawing extremely lightly. I'm going to be doing this backwards so that you can see it. So your numbers should be facing the correct way in the video. You're going to create a three inch by three inch grid on this piece of paper. Why three inches, you say? Because this is a 18 by 12 by 18 piece of paper and your grid on your picture is an inch by an inch. Okay, so in order for it to match, in order to have six boxes across and four boxes up and down this way, you have to multiply it by um, three. So it was a one inch grid on your other page, it's gonna be a three inch grid on here. So let me flip this so you can see it. There you go. Line up your ruler on the edge of your page. Go ahead and do that now. Go over to your number three. I kind of like to do two, so I line it up straight. So I, two um, lines, I'm sorry. Go over to your th number three, put a little dash very, very lightly. See how light that is? You can barely see it. Go over to six, three, six, nine, 12, count by threes, 15. All right, so you see my little dashes right there. Then I slide, I keep my ruler straight. I slide straight down and I do that same thing over again. That is in order to keep my lines straight. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, okay? I've got dashes here and I've got dashes here. Now, all I need to do is connect those dashes that I just made. I'm just gonna draw a straight line. I'm not using the numbers anymore. I'm just drawing straight lines to connect them. The lightest possible line you can ever make in your whole life. Okay, I'm drawing mine a little bit harder so that I can hold it up and so that you can see it. See that line, how light it is? Right there, super light. Okay, I'm gonna do that on all of my lines. Go ahead and do that now. Across your paper, you should have six boxes or six columns, I should say, as soon as you're done making these lines. Amazing. Okay, now I have all those columns. I turn my page so it's the opposite way it just was. And across that bottom line I just made, I'm going to line up my ruler right on the edge. Okay, 1 to 12, just like that. I'm going to make my three my dashes at at uh, every three inches. So three, again, six, nine. Okay, I did my dashes. Now, same thing. Slide, just farther down your paper. It doesn't matter where here, anywhere. That I'm just going to line it up right on that last column. Three, six nine done okay got those dashes got the dashes at the beginning now i just line them up again not using the numbers here i am just lining up to use this ruler as a straight edge on each dash so i got a dash here and i just lined it up on a dash here i'm going to draw my faint line all the way across my page that did not draw do that again there we go there's line one Line two, make sure that's lined up and it doesn't move on you. Draw your line. You should be doing this as I'm giving you the instructions. Okay, should look something like this. I, I had already started on the other side, so a little bit darker so you could see it. Three inch grid. Should be so look something like that, a little bit lighter even, okay? You should have, don't worry about this yet. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes across. One, two, three, four boxes up. Remember, you can paint this way if your if your picture is landscape, or this way, which is portrait, way up and down. Okay. Just make sure that you have the same number of boxes on this paper, okay, that you do on the picture that you just made online with the grid. Okay. Best of luck. Ask me questions if you need it.